Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the Kid Every Command 60 Six Day Challenge 8.0. And today is day 52. So today we're consider we're continuing our training on the consumer applet with our new agent site experience. And today we're going to talk about customizing the featured listing section on your agent site homepage. So when we go to our agent site, we've been using the same agent site for a while now, Dream Homes, Dream Homes and Katie. You can see we changed our hero image, we changed our hero text. Below that, we have a featured property section. And today we're gonna to talk about how we can make filters and sort of addition, a little bit of changes to the verbiage, basically tweak this to how we see fit. So let's go into command. We're gonna go into consumer. And once we get into consumer, we're gonna click on edit my website. Now we're gonna go back to that same default page, colon home page, right? Second one down underneath our default page, and we're gonna make changes there. So you can see now the second widget that we have in place is called the featured properties. Sorry about that, I've been doing some testing, so I wanted to clear that out so we can get on the same page. So when this page pops up, we've got this second section called Featured Properties. We want to click here. Now, the first thing is if you don't want to deal with featured properties at all, you don't like how that looks, whatever it may be, you don't want that on your site, you can choose to just come in here and hide it all together. And you'll see what that looks like in just a second. It basically would just lead straight from property search into the blog. So, <clears throat> but if you do want the Featured property section, you can choose to display it. From here, we can decide what we want the title to be and the description to be. So the title said Featured Properties, description says check out my featured properties. Now to be fair, right now it's pulling in properties from all over Katy, probably none of which are mine. So the check out my featured properties verbiage might be a little bit misleading, you'll have to decide. But let's go ahead and change this title to um, Featured properties for sale in Katy, Texas, right? We can see what that looks like. Here's what it looks like on the side. And then check out some of Katy's hottest new listings. All right, what does that look like? So you can see it here, perfect. All right, so then we want to add listings. Now, this is assuming you don't have any listings or you don't want to feature your own listings. We'll talk about in the future how to actually add your own listings. But for right now, let's assume we don't have any or we're not going to feature our own. We want to make sure that dynamic is turned on. And then we've got a center point where we want to look. Now, this actually defaults to the market center address. So I can come in here and I can search for Katy, Texas, and it's going to give me a list of different things that come up. Now, again, if you choose a city, it's going to drop the pin in the middle of that city. Next up, you can decide how many listings do you want to display? Now, you can see it's going to show three at a time, but if you click the arrows, it'll continue to go through those. So in this case, I don't know, maybe I do 25. I want to give a good you know, indication of what's available for sale in Katy. Now, Katy is not that big. If you think about search radius, that would mean that Katy is 50 miles wide, 100 miles right, wide, actually, because the radius is only going from the center point out. So that'd be 50 miles one way and then 50 miles the other way. That would mean Katy would be 100 miles wide. It is not that big. So we're actually going to reduce Katy's search radius to 15 miles each way. Sort listings by, you can see which one of these categories you want to utilize. So I think it's, uh, I said it's gonna be Katie's hottest new listings. So I should probably have the newest listings to show up first. So let's do days on site, newest to oldest. Now, if you wanted to be based upon, you know, living area or uh, price living area, the actual price itself, you've got a couple of different things that you can do. You can just do random, have it none. But I like that newest listings first. So we're gonna go days on site. Next up, if you had some featured listings that you wanted to display, you could choose this plus button and then select those listings and those would automatically show up first. But in this case, we don't have any listings we wanna feature, so we're gonna skip that section. 
Next, we're gonna come down to listing category. Uh, we can't do solds in Texas. I don't want to include rents, so I'm just gonna do properties that are for sale. Don't wanna do any that are for lease, typically just properties for sale. As far as status goes, I don't wanna show any pendings. I don't necessarily know I wanna show any coming soon. I just wanna show active properties. So we're gonna make sure active is checked. Property types. Um, I said the hottest listings, but I don't really specialize in condos or lots and land or manufactured. So I'm just gonna select houses. You can see you can multi-select, right? But for now, I am just gonna select houses. I can also come in and choose, hey, I only want single family listing properties that have at least or no more than bathrooms, bedrooms, square footage, lot size, even price point. Right, so let's say my average price point over the last year was 400,000, I'm looking to increase that. Maybe I just wanna put properties on my site that are anywhere between 400,000 and a million. If we get over a million, I might be referring that out. Maybe that's beyond my comfort level. So we'll put 400 to a million. And then I could include keywords if I'd like. I'm gonna stay away from keywords for now, but if you only wanted to feature maybe waterfront properties, just kind of have to be careful because sometimes people use keywords inappropriately on their listings and that might pull in property that you didn't necessarily want to have uh, listed in your featured section. So right now you can see we have changed the title to featured property for sale in Katy. We've changed the description. We've said we're gonna use the dynamic settings, meaning it's gonna put some parameters around what's being pulled in. The listings are gonna come from Katy. It's gonna show 25 of them and we're gonna do a 15 mile radius around the center of Katy, listing those properties in order of newest to oldest. Only properties listed for sale that are active on the market that are single family homes. And then we didn't put any parameters here other than we only wanna show properties between 400,000 and a million even. Let's go ahead and click on save. And now we can go back to our dream homes in Katy and you can see, right, this one's too high. These are too low for the price point that we had selected. So if we do our refresh, you're gonna see now it says featured properties for sale in Katy, Texas. Check out some of Katy's hottest new listings. And then we've got properties that are in the price point that we were looking for. Uh, this one pulled in Fulcher. So good to know that a 15 mile radius around the center of Katy actually goes out to Fulcher. So in that case, we might wanna come back in. We would click on Featured Properties for Sale in Katy, Texas. Remember, as you change the title of these pages, it's gonna change what it looks like in the list. Let's go down to 10 and save, and then see if that still pulls in properties outside of Katy. So we'll do a quick refresh, see if it removes that Fulcher property or not. Nope, looks like 10 miles from the center of Katy still pulls in Fulcher. So, we may just have to deal with it. I could say featured properties for sale in the greater Katy area if I wanted to. A lot of people that live out here know that Fulcher is basically Katy, right? People live in Fulcher don't appreciate us saying that, but you get it. So there's six properties, there's three more to give us nine properties, and you can see we can just keep going through, but this is a pretty good mix of properties for sale in Katy, Texas, and the price point that I wanna advertise recently listed right and i could come in and choose bedrooms and bathrooms and square footage and all of those other things but that's really it for today guys how you can make sure that the featured properties section on your new agent site represents the area you want to do business in the type of properties you want to be working with ideally uh, sort of the price point all of those sorts of parameters and then what does it look like for the consumer when they see that on your site now I realize right now we're getting very specific to Katy, Texas. Some of you may say, hey, I want to do all of the greater Houston area or heck, all of South Texas or anywhere I'm licensed. You can make these changes however you see fit. Right now I'm just sort of focusing on Katy, Texas because it's the easiest thing for me to do because I know Katy so well. So everyone will have to make that decision for themselves, uh, but that's really it for today. Come back tomorrow, we might be diving into the blog. We'll see, I'm still sort of learning this as I teach it to all of you. So let me learn more about the blog section and then hopefully record some videos for you to learn as well. Look forward to talking to you then. Have a great day, guys.